Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After, etc. And welcome back to another Cricut project. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make the two layer overlay for this reindeer sign. It is so cute. It says reindeer are better than people because they are, obviously. Quote from the good old Frozen. Um, I love that. But I just thought it went really well with the little resin reindeer that I made in last week's project. So cute. And I needed a reindeer themed quote. You can find the SVG for free at the bottom of the blog post. But today we are going to get started cutting this baby out. It is an acetate layer and then a vinyl layer. <laughs> Try a few vinyls before I get one that works because I do have writing on it. I did use a Cricut pen and then a Sharpie to achieve those letters. So if you want to check it out, we're going to get started right now. Okay, y'all, so now that our design space file is all set, let's get our materials ready. So we are using a foil acetate for our background layer and this premium vinyl for most of the letters. And then we will be writing the middle portion with this black pen. So we are going to load an acetate layer first. 
So this will kind of be our background that all our vinyl will go on that we can attach to our sign. So here's our little sign. Do, 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 do. And I do have a full tutorial for this. I've made all of these little reindeer with resin and added them to this metal blank. So the acetate layer will go right over top and give us anchor points to attach our vinyl. Because if we just did vinyl and then tried to lay it over this raised surface, that would not work. So I picked this one from the Valentine's Day collection. That's just kind of these pinkish red dots, which should work perfectly. We're going to add these to our cutting mat. And cut it out. And then we will add our vinyl and cut that out as well. So let's do it. Go ahead and put our sign aside for right now because we won't need it until everything is cut out. Acetate we're going to put face up and vinyl we're going to put face up because cutting out the tops of both. Now our vinyl is pretty glossy so I'm hoping our pen will write on it properly but if not we will we might switch our vinyl for a more matte version. Find out. Matte one. Okay, so I was gonna load two mats, but this acetate layer is going to cut really fast. So let's just go ahead and do the acetate and then we'll use this for our vinyl too. So I've set my Cricut Design Space to foil acetate, fine point blade, normal pressure, and we'll hit go. Cutting two passes since the foil acetate is a little thicker. And there it is. So there's our main shape that will go on top. Now we could make it a little bigger. It's a little smaller than I'd even thought it was going to be. So, but I want to be able to see the reindeer. So let's go ahead and do this and then go from there. All right. So I lied. I went ahead and I cut a second piece just a little bit bigger just big enough that I didn't have to recut the vinyl I already cut for this project. So we'll use this for something else. It's still big enough to cut something out of it. But I think this will just fit our sign a little better. So, all right. Now we're going to use this guy. And we need to place him so that he fits right here. Should encompass everything. Find out. Double check my measurements. So yeah, I think we're good. All right, I set this to vinyl. Let's go ahead and cut her out. We also need to add our pen in. So it's going to tell you load your black pen into point A. Of course, you can use any color you like. I'm just using black. I think it will show up on this pink the best. So load your black, load your cutting. Cross your fingers that the marker works fine on this vinyl. 
If not, we'll pick a matter vinyl and try again. Sometimes Cricut projects are trial and error, even when you've done a million of them. Use a slightly different material or a different project. You gotta test it out. I'm using a calligraphy marker and unfortunately that means that it's doing the lines a little thicker one way than the other, which I didn't think about. I just picked a 2.0 marker. So note to self, use a consistent pen for this project, but it'll be okay. I think I'll be able to just go in and fill in uh, with the marker as long as it's not going to smear on this material. find out. So I'm going to guess that this pin is not working because you can see how it's really disappearing right there. I'm guessing if I took a paper towel right now, I could wipe that right off. Let me go get one and we'll find out. Question two, how clean can we get this? Because if we can get the ink all the way off, we'll just cut something else to go over it. If not, I have to go back to the drawing board. I don't think you're ever gonna be able to write on this material. It's just too glossy. I had a feeling, you know, never hurts to try anything. But I swear, every single project I've done this season, whatever can go wrong has gone wrong. <laughs> I'm starting to think I don't know how to craft at all. 
and that's just how it goes sometimes even when you've been crafting for years i've been cricketing for years sometimes it just is how it is okay so we're gonna weed this and then i'm gonna go through my cricket stash and see what i think would work because I could do a white vinyl on this. I could do a black vinyl on this. I'm not sure what would look best with the sign. So let's weed it, put it on our acetate, and then decide. I think I should just go sit in a corner and not touch anything. <laughs> I can't even get my vinyl off. Girls, it's just me. It's just mommy being a spaz. Nobody else is here. Thank you for protecting me though. That was very helpful. I do need protecting for myself. All right, let's see what kind of damage we can do with this weeding tool. You know what? Okay, so you'll see I switched vinyls from the glossy pink that I was using to this uh, coppery glitter vinyl that is much more matte. And the uh, the pen does seem to be sticking to it a lot better, but I noticed when I was working that it also was coming off on my fingers still. There's my A. So I'm going to transfer it, and then I'm going to see if I can't use my pen to fill in, and then let it dry before I touch it again. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna use some transfer tape here. And let's get this guy going. This is a lot of transfer tape. I don't need this much, but this is from another project I just did. There's no reason to cut more, so. Smooth it down, perfect. You want to know a funny story about how far I've come. This glitter vinyl is actually the first one I ever bought, I ever used. I did a whole blog post, I'll link to it down below for you, on how to use glitter vinyl. And it's it's not a bad post, but I just did not know what I was doing yet. And I didn't know transfer tape existed. So after I cut out my glitter vinyl, and it, I mean, it cut properly, which is what my goal for the post was I literally picked up and placed every litter for my project and then I was talking to a friend and she told me all about the wonders of transfer tape I don't remember I think I went back and re like edited the post but y'all I was sitting there doing this whole thing now transfer tape I was like, this is for the birds. Like how in the world does anyone think this is a good idea? <laughs> Getting all the letters lined up is ridiculous. I probably should have grabbed strong grub tape. All right, I have to focus. Glitter vinyl and transfer tape. All right, y'all, I hope this video isn't a hot, hot mess, but after trying and failing to locate my strong transfer tape, I have resorted to my really not that great duct tape. So it hardly works for actual duct tape, but I do find that it works well for a strong grip transfer tape. So honestly, the only downside, of course, is that it's not clear, but it is 
very similar to clear. Can you see those words? So I'm just going to smooth it on. And of course that I have to do one word at a time, but since this is pretty straight, it's not a huge problem. Now I'm going to take that word off. Perfect. Now line them up. The main thing we can do here is just keep everything straight with the top and the sides. That looks about right. And I'm just going to press it down lightly, 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 and then check on the back. I think that looks good. He needs to come over though. Let's see if we didn't push it down too hard, it should still come up. Oop, nope, okay. Going down. Now this is why transfer tape is better, but I'm not going to the store to buy strong grip transfer tape. We're just gonna make this work. go. Now last but not least, I get this middle part up. And then hope it doesn't take off all my words. Well, honestly, I don't think I'm even going to use transfer tape on this because if I do, I think it will just take up those words and he should basically come up like a big sticker. Oh, that was stupid. Okay. I know y'all are sitting at home laughing at me. I'm telling you, I'm literally going to go like sit in a corner after this because I cannot like get it together enough to function today. And I'm afraid I'm going to hurt somebody. And seeing as I'm the only person here. we go close enough for government work so now I can use my marker to fill in those letters all right so you can see we are all done I filled everything in I was just going to outline it but I found that when I was outlining everything is this pen with my Cricut pen the same one that I used for the project <laughs> it's like no faster than I outlined it and moved on to the next letter that the ink was just like soaking into the glitter for some reason. I don't quite understand it. So then I went to my thin Sharpie and that did work better, but it still was soaking in more than I'd like. And so finally I just bit the bullet. I grabbed my regular Sharpie, didn't have as much control with this but you can see it definitely worked a lot better. You can read this now. So now we've got our sign and we've got our words. Now here's the problem that I was afraid of is that, well, it's actually not bad. I was afraid you wouldn't be able to read it over the reindeer. It's not bad. I don't know. So we have two options. I can attach this right like this, or I did use some shimmer paper and I cut out a backing for the acetate. Now this definitely is easier for me to read in person, but as you can see, it blocks off most of my reindeer. So I think I'm gonna stick with just this and I'm just gonna use a little bit of foam here. 
I want to kind of pop it up. This is a sticky foam glue kind of stuff. Um, and we'll see. This isn't close enough for government work. So what we're going to do is I think right here, I'm going to add some sticky. You want to add it to parts that are going to hit the deer. So that way I'll be bumped up as much as possible, which is why I'm using these foam parts instead of just like a glue of some kind. I want there to be space, space between everything. And if at the end of the day, I decide that this is not as readable as I'd like, I can add that shimmer paper backing easy enough because short of using resin to attach this, these foam, this foam glue sticky pieces, goodness gracious, they will peel right off these and I'll be able to attach the backing. Got it. <laughs> All right, so now let's go ahead and stick this down and I'm gonna try to position it as close to the middle as I can, but also so that those foam pieces hit deer and so that it's readable. How's that? I think that's good. I'm just gonna push them down. Yeah, those are hitting deer, that's perfect. Now we could add another piece or two right there, but we're gonna have to like stack them up a little cause not, there's not a deer there. So instead, I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this and do a little stack. So I just got two pieces of foam here instead of one. I'm just gonna lift this side up and I'm gonna put them right under the R. There we go. All right, we are all set. I'm gonna go find a place to hang this so that you can see it in all its glory. If you stuck with me through this entire video and all of my hot messness, I appreciate it and I appreciate you because you know, I'm always a crazy, crazy mess, but this was way more than normal. So I'm going to go find a spot to hang this up. And then I think I'm going to eat some lunch because I have to be hungry. There's no other reason why things would be this insane. All right, let's find something. All right, y'all. I love it. I was worried that the words were going to be hard to read. I really wanted that light pink vinyl we tried first, but honestly, this looks so cute. And I think the dark letters are actually easier to read. I just wasn't sure about the are better than the ones we did with the Cricut pen turned out perfect. I love the dimension. I love the reindeer. I love the quote. I hope you love it too. If you do like comment, subscribe, show your friends, tell your mom, I will see you in the next project. Merry Christmas.